Okay, question four, last one. Um, this time we're writing a function called GCD, right, the greatest common divisor. Two numbers are coming in. We're going to assume they're positive. Let's not deal with negative values or zero. I'm just going to return the greatest common divisor of them. Okay, so um, we can assume that they're positive integers. We can even put that. Remember, it's an exam. If you can make assumptions and the teacher says you're allowed to make those assumptions, then by golly, make those assumptions and make your life easier. Point of an exam is to test that you can do certain activities, um, exercises, that you've mastered some concepts, and we're trying to check that on a test. Um, we're not looking for beautiful code. We're not looking for wonderful implementation. We're looking that you get the concepts that we're trying to really focus on. So this will be, let's save this one, uh, exam four. Oops. Exam four about CVP, and let's rock and roll. Include IO stream using STD C out using STD and L. All right, int main turn zero save G plus plus exam four. Good. Okay, always get started right away. Now, um, the name of our function was going to be called GCD, right? And so it says it returns an int, it's called GCD, and it takes two ints. Did it tell us what the name of the ints are? Didn't give them names. I'll call them A and B. So int A, int B. Open. Uh, we're going to return 42 just so it can compile. And I'm going to make that note there, right there, in case the teacher forgets. Uh, note A and B are both positive. Assumption. Uh, and by the way, I should have shown you this at the end. I should probably put my name at the top of my file, just like on any piece of paper you hand into your teacher since kindergarten. Put your name, identify yourself. All right, there we go. So let's space that out a little nicer. Let's make sure it can compile. We're all good. Good. Now, greatest common divisor. So what we want to do is we want to find the biggest number, one or higher, that divides evenly into A and evenly into B. Now, how do we check if something can divide evenly into something? Well, we divide and check for remainder. If the remainder is zero, we're good. So we want to check. Basically, we're thinking so biggest x such that a percent x is zero and b percent x is zero. That's not really percent. Remember, that's the mod. That is divide x into a and check the remainder. That's what that operator is. But I'm just commenting to remind myself that's what that does. So we could do this with a loop, or we could do this with recursion. Let's try with both. Let's do it with a loop first. So let's figure out which one's smaller, because basically we don't have to go past the smallest one. So let's get uh, the minimum, and let's uh, check for the minimum of A and B. Right. Oh, let's set up our test here. Let's, um, uh, let's make a answer be the GCD of 8 and 12. The GCD should be 4, right? And let's print that out. Answer. And let's um, let's check. Compiles. Oh, it doesn't like min. Why not? Oh, isn't min part of math? Include cmath. Oh, <laughs> silly monkey. I don't think I need some math, actually. It's because, Ken, uh, minimum is the min of A and B. And I guess I do need math. Include C math. Is it C math or a C standard lib? C standard lib? I can't remember. Nope. So, 
Hmm. Hold on. So, yeah, algorithm. Not the algorithm, but the algorithm. Why not? Oh. There we go. See? Ken forgets things too. All right, so we've got, I need to use the namespace thing again. So it's from the algorithm, not the algorithm. I did a quick Google over here to find that. But if you couldn't do that on the exam, you just do the min yourself. If A is bigger than B, then B is the min, else A is the min. All right, cool, so I got the minimum. Let's make a loop. Um, so we're gonna assume that the answer is one because one divides everything evenly and then for each value uh, between two because it's the next number and up to and including the minimum because we don't need to go past that smaller value and B is going to go up one by each root we're going to check something we need to check if a percent V not percent a mod v is equal to zero and b mod v is equal to zero then what do we know then we know that oh um, the answer is that v okay so we, we assume v the answer is one and then we find a bigger number that works and divides evenly into both remainder zero um, we say oh Bound a new one, I'm going to save that as the answer. And we do that for all the values of b up to the minimum. And then at the end, we know what the answer is. The answer shoots out. I've got to run this. It should be. Always think about what the answer is going to come out as, what's going to happen. It's going to print. The answer, the answer is 4. Bingo bongo. So let's try a different number. Let's try 8 and 16. It should be. Eight. Oops. Compile. Run. Eight. Right. Eight and twenty-four should be eight. How about um, twenty-four and thirty-two? Eight. Good. I'm pretty convinced. Let's go. Recursion. All right. So. Because it's recursion, remember, function definition stays the same. The use of the function stays the same. How we implement the function is changing. So the user of our function doesn't have to do anything different. So here's the trick. And if you look this up on Wikipedia or some other resource about GCD, you'll see that if A and B are the same, then the answer is A, well, or B, whichever one you want. If A and B are not the same, then the answer is, now we need to know uh, if A is bigger than B, else, so if A is the bigger one, then the answer is the GCD of A minus B comma B. So it's the greatest common divider, take the smallest one from the biggest one, and then the smallest one. And else the answer is A comma B minus A, because B is bigger. And that's it. That's it, that's a recursive definition. So how do we know that eventually it's gonna get to where they're equal? Oops. Oh, I put returns in there. Don't need that anymore. So I've got return here, and then if that's not true, then if A is bigger to this than this, this. Okay, good. Pile, run, eight. Let's try uh, with something like four and 17. The greatest common denominator should be one. Good, let's do four. 
Yeah. 10 and 30. It should be 10, right? Good. 10 and 35 should be 5. I'm convinced. Works. GCD. Gotcha. Both with a loop and with recursion.